What's going on, y'all? So I just wanted to kind of tap in and give you guys an update since you have been following me on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook uh, through my baby journey and over the last two months. So today is June 23rd. And um, I'm going to give you an update pretty much. So I inseminated the month of June on June 10th and 11th. Uh, I was supposed to have um, inseminated three days, which was the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th, which was a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday. However, um, when I did one of my urine strips on the 9th, it told me that that was my high day and that I will be ovulating on um, the 10th which originally it said that I was going to be ovulating on the 12th. So again, this month, my strips kind of, you know, based off of my own body, it was playing tricks, you know, I was playing a little bit of games. So what I decided to do was I still in decided to inseminate on the 10th and the 11th. I didn't inseminate on the 12th because by that time, it told me that my ovulation day had passed um, and that my levels would pretty much be dropping. So to me, I felt like it was pointless. I did do the <clears throat> leading up to, um, I did do the Mucinex as I said that I would do. I also was taking the um, Macaroot, the pills that I showed you guys, I took that. The day of, um, insemination which was friday was that friday since i work overnight what i did was the night before on the ninth so the night of the ninth i um well the ninth i took um a mucinex at like four in the morning i took another one there were 12 hour pills my donor didn't come over to almost about 12-ish. So, and surprisingly enough, in the previous video in which I posted, when he came over after he inseminated, I mean, after he um, went in the cup, we actually talked for quite some time before I actually ended up inserting that um, sample inside of me. So... I I was kind of worried about because to be honest with you, I forgot the whole purpose for that second while he was even over there. And the time had just got away because we were just talking. But um I did do the insemination. Um the next day he um came over. He couldn't call me to let me know that he was on his way because the whole purpose of him calling me to let me know he's on his way is so that I can insert the pre-seed. I wasn't able to insert the pre-seed before he came because I didn't know he was coming, what time he was coming. So um, I didn't want to start it like too early. So um, while he was in there, um, like doing what he does, which was, takes about 20 minutes or so, I ended up um, just waiting for him to go. And then I kind of just did the pre-seed and um like inseminating all at the same time so i just inserted a uh, two mil of the pre-seed followed by using the lube launcher to suck up the sperm from the cup i inserted all that i could whatever was left over and i slowly inserted it and as I was inserting, I meant um, slowly releasing the um, the semen inside my body, um, I was, you know, reaching orgasm because they say that it, it helps to push the sperm to the cervix. Um, after that, I kept that in there for a second and I held my legs up Um all while I'm laying there, though, I'm getting the soft cup together, meaning putting pre-seed around the edge of the soft cup 
taking what was left of the sperm in the um the cup putting it inside of the soft cup and then um once i removed the loop launcher out i inserted the soft cup and this is probably all okay i honestly didn't keep my legs up there long maybe half an hour if that and i left the um soft cup in there until eight o'clock well actually the next day eight o'clock a.m i kept it in there for some time so it's almost like you forget that it's even in there to be honest with you so yeah um i went on about my merry little days because honestly i didn't let it um I didn't rack my brain over testing like I had previously. I just just wanted to be relaxed, take my time, and not worry because I do get um anxiety. I have anxiety, so I was just like, I'm not going to like worry and test every damn day. So what I did was I waited until my 10 DPO, which was this past Tuesday, um, June 21st. And I decided to do the um, first response early detection, which was um, you do it six days before your cycle. Now, my cycle was due this Saturday. And, um, yeah, so I, I was just like, okay, I'm in, like, that four-day window. Let me just go ahead and just see. And um, this is the result that I got. So you see, it's just like a faint line here, and that basically says that I'm pregnant. So I said, wait a minute now, let me just go ahead and take another one just to see, in which I did, and I decided to do a digital one that says that I am pregnant. Can I tell y'all how I was like balling? I actually still am. And um, I guess it's hard because um, you know, when you want something for so long and you know, not wanting to pay, you know, to, 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 you know, go through fertility treatments and have an insurance that just doesn't help you. And, you know, I don't have male friends, like they only have one. So it's like, it's just, you know, not really being able to have the tools and, and to, to be able to just say, hey, I'm gonna put part A and part B together to make part C and everything's gonna go ahead and run smoothly. I didn't have that. So I had to do a lot of research. I had to do a lot of talking with people, um, weaning people out, making sure that they're doing it, not even necessarily for the right reasons, but to make sure they're not creeps. Um, and, you know, I, because I'm getting older, you know, I felt like at one point that I was going through like menopause. Um, so I had like my doctors do testing to make sure that I wasn't. And then if I am nearing it, is it still a possibility for me to be able to, you know, have a child? And um, so as we see, I am able to have a kid. <laughs> I am able to have a child and I am, whew, I'm confused. I'm excited. I am nervous. I am everything that I kind of thought that I would be. Um, the last two days, I have been sick. Um, I went and got blood tests done on Tuesday. Um, I also went yesterday morning and got another blood test done. Both of the results came back. I am definitely pregnant. And now it's in my medical chart. But um, I've, I don't know if I'm going through withdrawal. I don't know what it is, but I am extremely sick like 
I can't even move out of bed because I'm like nauseous. I can't even like, my head hurts. Like, so for me to even keep my head up like this, it hurts. And um, I think I'm going through withdrawal because before that I used to down Red Bulls. Working overnights, you know, that's just a thing. And um, to prepare for my shift. So I became addicted to it. And because I became addicted to it, it, it just, it was a part of my natural thing. I'm talking about four or five a day. So now once I found out I was pregnant, I cut all of that, cut all of it out. Um, so my head is pounding. My stomach is nauseous. Um, it's like, I can't even take normally what I normally take. She tried to tell me to try to take Tylenol. Tylenol does absolutely nothing for me. I can't take aspirin or anything like that because I had weight loss surgery uh, six years ago. So I can't take an NSAID. So I'm trying to like, trying to figure out what to take um, because I still am in the early phases in the first trimester of being pregnant is when, you know, the baby's developing his brain, his eyes and things of that nature. So we're just making sure to get the baby prenatal pills, which I did get um, brand new ones got the GNC uh, prenatal pills and um, been drinking a lot of water. Yeah. So you guys are going to go on a journey with me. So I tried to get the information out there for other people who may want to know. And you can always hit me up. Um, I did hit my donor up. I did tell him that I am pregnant. I am his fifth successful um, donation. If you would like to find um, donors on Facebook, the group that I found him in is called the Black um, Sperm Donor Group on Facebook. And um, these donors have reviews from people who have used them. Um, you got a chance to talk to other people who may have used the person too. So I do also know who are siblings through donation um, of my donor. And could reach out to their parents if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so I did tell my donor, hey, make sure you don't disappear on me because, you know, I may want baby number two, even though I never saw myself carrying two babies. But I mean, hey, you just never know. But um, thanks for going on this journey with me. And the next couple of videos you guys are going to see will be me and doctor's appointments. You know, yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up. All right.